Hi, it is Ayikam time again. So lately, I have uh, share on momentum mechanics and how momentum and mechanics map into impulse momentum theorem so that we have a really solid uh, scientific base. And I receive many messages from our Wing Chun friend asking me why don't I talk about techniques and also uh, want me to illustrate or make example on force flow so that uh, uh, they can uh, clearly know what, what it is okay so today I like to share with you on these two topics so techniques okay just take an example say Tan Sao okay now Tan Sao actually need one to uh, know about the momentum and the mechanics if one have no idea on the momentum and the mechanics then Tan Sao can be anything okay like usually like you and me we study Wing Chun long time ago say so, well Tan Sao has to be this way or you know put your elbow here and then uh, this degree that angle all kind of stuff that actually is meaningless if one doesn't know the momentum and the mechanics okay so if we want to talk about techniques we better based on momentum and mechanics for example okay Tan Sao we know that Wing Chun Tan Sao cannot be this way okay if this is opponent this is his hand Wing Chun Tan Sao cannot be this way why because Wing Chun is a short strike up so Wing Chun Tan Sao has to be in this way this close okay that only that fit into the play of the uh, Wing Chun momentum play okay so that's number one number two we know that Wing Chun Tan Sao mechanics cannot be this way well if we look into the impulse momentum theorem if the arm the hand the arm is this this straight I'm going to take the impact force from the opponent big time so this is equivalent to like a you have a straight knee you jump out jump down from a stool and that is going to hurt big time okay or damage the, 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 the bones okay so you know that impulse momentum theorem this doesn't work okay and then based on mechanical advantage okay I have a difficult times if I have this long Tan Sao here okay stretch out Tan Sao here to uh, exert force to the opponent so if I do this first in terms of impulse momentum theorem this makes sense it cut down or it reduce the impact force toward me is like when you jump down from a stool to the ground with a bent knee okay now the second thing is because there's a mechanical advantage here so I can exert a lot of force to my opponent where here I can use all the force but I have a mechanical disadvantage okay so from the uh, momentum characteristics and from the mechanics which is this both based on physics we know the accord Tan Sao has to be uh, the, 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 uh, the, the techniques of the Tan Sao has to be performed in here and with this kinds of uh, 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 momentum and mechanical criteria okay 
So it's really engineering that Tan Sao has to be here. That is the technique. So there's no more argument that well, Tan Sao this way, uh, I have to put it in the center line or not center line. Well, you all miss the point because it doesn't fit whatever we can argue here, whatever the opinion, it doesn't fit the characteristic of Wing Chun. It doesn't fit the impulse momentum theorem. It doesn't fit the uh, mechanical advantage. Okay, and over here, the Tan Sao over here, well, about the angle, it can vary because thing will be varying in the real life. Okay, you you cannot have a certain angle. Okay, which is actually it uh, doesn't make much sense what it really uh, the root the, the the important key is it has to meet the uh, momentum characteristic requirement and the law of physics which is the mechanics okay so that is Tan Sao so Tan Sao it can be it can be very as soon as it is close and this perfectly well because in real life and Tan Sao might not even have to touch the opponent because this is like a seal going in. That's Wing Chun. So it is uh, meaningless to talk about Tan Sao technique. This way has to be this angle, angle or that angle as what we have going through. Okay. So that's why I don't talk about techniques. I want to make sure. The momentum and the mechanics, which is according map into the physics, is solidly uh, uh, hold there, and then everybody can 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 uh, have their variations of uh, of their techniques, because techniques is just a tool to 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 solve the issue. Okay, like you you need to use hammer sometimes. You need to use screwdriver sometimes. Well, as soon as you know what is hammer for, what is a screwdriver for, then you 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 use whatever you like as you like as as needed. Okay. Instead of talking about uh, what is the best uh, uh, a screwdriver and screwdriver uh, can be used as a hammer and those kind of stuff. Okay. So uh, we need all these tools like the uh, momentum and the mechanical uh, the mechanics which is fit on to the uh, law of physics there are tools tools for analyze tools for uh, let us know what is proper without opinion or philosophy because we need to meet this uh, the law of physics criteria before before we can say oh we have to uh, we can have this variations that variations if we do not meet the uh, or satisfy the law of physics forget about it okay so that is for the techniques part so as soon as we know this momentum and the mechanics then techniques we know what is the proper one that's why I don't want to talk about techniques you can invent your techniques and in a real fight you know, will the Tan Sao really touch? You don't know. But you know the Tan Sao will be in this close. Will they really touch the opponent's arm? We don't know. It's based on the situation at that time. Okay? Now, as for force flow, force flow is just a play of action and reaction force. I have no mysterious thing at all. It's no this chi, no this mind power at all. Okay? is plain mechanics plain mechanical handling and plain the uh, the the handling of manipulations of action and reaction force for example let's talk about this Tan Sao now Tan Sao if I just move my arm see I just move my arm body is not moving I use force with my arm so what happened is that if there's a force come to my 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 hand, okay, or my, I know my contact point here, or if I use force here, generate some force here with my muscle, it's going to stuck here in this area. You can try it. Use uh, this thing. You just use some force here, okay. 
move this arm and you use some force you can feel that this is stuck here because uh, if your body is not moving now on another way if you put your tongues out here not moving and you move your body and you can see that something stuck here too okay so from that you know that the transportations of uh, the force okay or your handling of action reaction force uh, is not effective here okay because it is have some kinds of uh, stagnations or uh, it doesn't go through well okay so there's two two uh, two example just now one I just move this ham without moving the body the body hold hold there and you know it just it's just over here that's how the force is okay and you can only generate this much force another one is that if my arm is not moving I just move my body you can see that there's some kinds of uh, stagnations and it's just not flow proper to my arm okay and that is actually the beginning understanding of the force flow because when you know something is stuck you begin you begin to notice okay now say if I turn my arm and my body in the same time then if you do that you can feel that whatever the contact point here the force you you exert here the the, the entire body you do not feel any kinds of latch out or, or, or jam out or something it can go direct to down to your feet bowl, your feet the coupling the ground okay and that will be different than if you just put a, a, a body is solid still and uh, you're just doing this or you put your arm still like that you're just moving your body okay so the third case is I spin or rotate my arm and I twerk my body you can see that the force the, the contact point is actually support by your uh, by, by your, uh, your your saw your feet your feet bowl without jamming or without big time jamming on different part of your body and that is force flow so in this case it's like the flow if I, I don't move my body I just doing this it's like my flow just going down to here and no uh, and not going downward anymore now if I'm uh, this uh, this hand is not moving if I turn my body I turn my body it's like the flow go up to here it's not going to flow out here anymore but if I do this the flow is going down downward to the to the to the ground okay and it can come back because it's action reaction force okay so there's no stuck in between so that is the the, the, the a taste of force flow and of course when you put down here when I exert a force down here there will a force uh, a, a, a reaction force uh, come uh, uh, exist toward me right and uh, so how am I going to deal with the action reaction force okay if I deal with it with this turning of the arm only then I know it's kind of stuck here okay and uh, if I deal with it this not moving just toward my body then I know it's gonna stuck around here but if I deal with it with this the body toward this is a spinning then I know that I can go direct down to the to the ground okay so it's just simple like that you can taste it okay and of course if you want to be good at that then the whole seven bowls uh, need to be uh, conditioned properly and then uh, on top of it you know I talk about the meridians the channels the 12 channels handling the breathing those, those kind of stuff so those are just making it more effective or more efficient however <clears throat> in order to play force flow that means the seven bowls has to be intact you cannot hold hold on something when you hold on something it jam you from your arm to the ground you can test with the dummy okay so that's just forceful
so this is for you today and uh, you can see that right now I give you guys a tools the momentum the mechanics which you can map into the uh, law of physics and then if you want to get into more details on the body that's the 613 tree okay so in all these books I wrote is there and uh, this is as what I say again and again this is an education so everybody can do it okay there's no guru there's no uh, grandmaster but education that so everybody know exactly what it is everybody can do it okay some might be better than other but that's fine but at least everybody can do it okay